Hey everyone, it's Jamie here on Abiding in Grace. And I just got a very important question to ask you this week. You ever see those pictures online of Jesus coming to a door and knocking on it and it may say something like, if Jesus knocked on your door, would you let him in? Well, I'm gonna go a step further than that today. If we actually let him in, I wanna ask you a question. If we let Jesus into our homes, would we serve him food and serve him a meal or would we allow Jesus to go into the kitchen and cook us a meal and serve us a meal? What would you do? You see, in Luke chapter 10, there's a very interesting story of two sisters, Mary and Martha. Jesus is invited into their house, and when he gets there, the Bible says that Martha is so distracted by trying to prepare this big meal for Jesus that she misses out on all the teachings that's going on in the other room. And she actually gets so distraught because her sister isn't helping her in the kitchen cooking. And so she actually goes to Jesus and says, Lord, don't you even care that I'm in here preparing this big meal for you while Mary is sitting in here not even helping me and just sitting there not helping. So tell her to come and help me. And the Bible says that Jesus looked at Martha and he said, Martha, you're so worried about all of these things that don't even have any value. When Mary has chosen to do the more important thing, which is to sit at my feet and just receive. And you see, I think that so many of us today are like Martha. There's so many of us that just believe that we need to constantly give to God. You know, we say things like, God wants our heart. He wants our prayer. He wants our worship. He wants our time. As if God actually somehow needs all these things. When in reality, I believe that it's so much more important just to sit at Jesus' feet and just to receive from Him. Matthew chapter 20, verse 28, Jesus says, I did not come to be served, but I came to serve. You see, Jesus himself took upon this form of a servant to come and minister to our needs. And Jesus is so pleased when we come to receive from him. So my, my question is, why do many of us feel like we need to constantly give to God as if God needs these things from us? Does he need our life? Does he need our heart? Does he need our worship? Does he demand our prayer? Or does God actually want us to come and just sit in his presence and receive what he has for us? You see, I think that there's nothing that we can really give to God. You know, when we come to God, we really don't have anything to offer Him. Well, we can't even give Him our own lives, our own hearts. You know, I believe that whenever we come to God, God gives us a new heart and He gives us a new life to live by and that's His life. So we have to stop seeing it as we are the servants and He is the Grand Master and He wants us to, to perform these tasks and He demands that we give Him these things as if we need to appease Him in some way. No, God is different. God wants us to receive from His heart and to receive that refreshing. See, I believe that when we take from Jesus and when we receive from Him, I believe He takes great pleasure in that. And then I believe that's what He wants from us all along. You see, don't get me wrong, I believe that there's a place for quote unquote, serving the Lord. You know, God may call us to go and minister to somebody, or he may want us to go and lay hands on somebody, or go speak to somebody's life, or just go perform a simple task or anything like that. There's a place for that, but I believe that it's much more precious to God when we receive from him, or when, he, when we allow him to serve us. Because you know what, unless you receive, you can't really give in the first place. It's impossible for us to go out there and think that we can be Christians that can perform these great tasks when we fail to actually sit in His presence and receive what He has for us. See, the next time you think about God or the next time you go into His presence or worship Him or pray to Him, just know that God is not up there demanding that we do these things because He needs them. When we're doing those things, we're actually receiving from His heart. We're gathering from the Lord. We're getting that refreshing that we need because we've gone through a long, hard week maybe. And now he wants us to sit in his presence and receive from him. So there you have it. Mary sat at Jesus' feet while Martha was distracted by performing all of these tasks that, that she thought was somehow going to please God. When really, God really wanted Martha just to come from the kitchen and just to sit right there with Mary and just receive what he had for them. And let that be you today. You know, you may feel like you have to be going here or doing this or doing that in order to be a, a Christian or, or in order to please God in some way. But let me tell you, God just wants you to come into his presence and just receive whatever it is that he has for you today. I'm, and I guarantee you, he has something great for you. So just come into his presence, sit at his feet, just receive so that that way you can actually freely give as well. Come into his presence and receive today.